Well, for Oregon State, it was a tale of two halves. It was the worst of times in the first half, the best of times in the second half. They come from behind to beat Tulsa 73 to 70. Rich Burke along with Dan Belwamini. It's quite a comeback for Oregon State. I didn't see it coming after that first half with all the newcomers. Well, I saw it coming. <laughs> <laughs> but, Nostradamus but, but, but frankly, I didn't. But Oregon State, you know, they did a great job defensively. They forced four turnovers to start the second half, Rich. And then they made five of five from three-point range. And I thought Rodrigo and Della really kind of got into the game when he got in at about the 12-minute mark. Uh, he came in for Marial and played brilliantly down the stretch. And we know what Pope did. We, we know what Glenn Taylor Jr. did. They kind of attacked the rim. And the other big element uh, that really helped Oregon State, in my view, they, they had Tulsa in foul jeopardy early in that second half, and they took advantage of it. They kept going to the rim, drawing the foul, and it really got them back in the game because they made their free throws. This, this is a fantastic win and a great start for the Beavers. Oregon State had 10 blocks in this one, and the freshman point guard, Jordan Pope, had a great game. His yeah. first ever collegiate action. Yeah, and, and you know, we, everybody thought, well, you know, how can Pope play? You know, he's, he, he came from an outstanding high school program. Uh, the moment is not too big for him. He can make big shots in the clutch, and, and that's what he did. And, and the other thing, Dimitri Rivni in that second half, I thought made some big shots. He made a big three, he rebounded the ball. I thought he played really solid. It was just a great second half for Oregon State. Oregon State on Friday is at home against Florida A&M. And they start the 22-23 season with a victory over Tulsa after trailing it by 19 points in the first half, by 16 points at halftime, they win it.